It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. This beer sounds delightful. It really does. I was walking in the supermarket aisles of Marks and Spencer, hit the crisps and beer aisle, and I come across this, a winter spiced porter. Made in Greenwich in London, it's 5.5% ABV. Being, being brewed in Greenwich, I'm assuming that it's made by Meantime Brewing Company. We have the British flag on the top of the cap here. Oh, it, it, it says Meantime Brewing Company right underneath. Yeah, I, I read Greenwich and just cracked on. Um, it sounds really good. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. The bottle costs £2.50 for a 5.5% ABV beer. That's absolutely kind of acceptable for me. Um, it's been described as a well-balanced traditional London porter with warming, aromatic, cinnamon and allspice. Right, beer in the glass then. For a porter, oof, that is, ooh, that's pouring out. I mean, you guys know your beer. That's pouring out like a mild to me. That is pouring out like a... A dark mild. Look at the liquid in the coming out of the neck of the bottle. Like a really deep, 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 deep golden amber liquid. Uh, we got a two to three finger, slightly off. I'm going to say creamy, a creamy coloured head. And there is slow moving carbonation in the glass here, you can see that. Yeah, nice levels of carbonation, but mmm. Definitely, I mean there there, see that? Ah, let me get the let me get the beer on, on an angle where you can see that light bleeding through. This is really important. I had it just now. It's it's. I mean, in 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 the camera, it's definitely looking like a a, a porter. But I, I tell you, where I'm looking at this beer from the back, looking through the window, I got a light shining on it. it it's a dark mild. I'm trying to get it where. See that kind of red hue down there on the bottom of the glass, that bit of kind of ruby, amber color. That's what I'm seeing throughout the glass. The camera's been a bit deceptive with this beer. So that's the look of the beer. We got good clarity as well. There's no, it's not a bottle conditioned beer. Let's get the aroma. Oh, smells delicious. Oh, 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 oh wow. This is Christmas in the glass. I reviewed, if you want to take a look at the Max and Spencer's Christmas Ale, check out that. That is on, that will be on YouTube by now. Have a look at that. Um, I'm not going to spoil the review. All I'm going to say is, even just by getting the aroma of this beer, this is more like a, a Scandinavian style Christmas beer. Cinnamons and, and ginger and spices and nutmegs and peppers and oh it smells brilliant absolutely brilliant touch of smoke coming through on the aroma yeah i'm gonna dive into this one cheers everybody Delicious. Oh. Oh wow, meantime, wow. Knock this one out the park. This is brilliant, brilliant beer. Stone the crows, stone the crows. My type of Christmas beer. This is not for everybody. This is not for everybody. If I gave this to my father on Christmas Day, if he ever come round here for Christmas dinner, then I, 
I pour this in his glass, say happy Christmas dad type of thing, and he'd be like, ooh, he'd be pulling a face. He'd be pulling a face. It's not for everybody. This is a more Christmas beer for the discerning ale drinker, for the ale drinker who has a bit of experience and knowledge in beer. Um, so Max and Spencer have been very, very clever here with their Christmas beers. I'd say if you were a new to craft beer or, forgive me, an older style drinker, you like your traditional ales from the regional brewers, then, then go for this. Go for the Christmas ale but for, by Adnams. It's really kind of that sort of beer for you. If you want something a little bit more speciality from uh, from Max and Spencer's, wrong supermarket, from Max and Spencer's, if you want it kind of rich and cinnamony and, and ginger and there's some roasted malt coming through, some chocolate, some coffee, there's some caramel, some spices coming through, lots of complexity. If you want a big complex beer on your Christmas day, then then this will be the beer for you, without a shadow of a doubt. Out of the two beers, if I pick up some Max Spencer's beer for my Christmas, it will be this beer without a shadow of a doubt. It's more complex, it's, it's richer, there's so much going on, there's so much going on. I've been to Norway quite a few times and I used to go to um, Leijefjord and Microbrew and brew my collaboration beers over there. And there was one year I went over there whilst they just finished bottling their their Christmas beer. Now in Norway, by law, they, a brewery has to brew a Christmas beer. It was an old law that a king made up hundreds of years ago. Um, basically, the law goes, if you don't brew a Christmas beer and you're a brewery, the king is allowed to steal your land off you. And that was the kind of going thing. So lots of people back in the day brewed Christmas style beers. And this tastes just like the Leiterfield Norwegian Christmas beer that, that I really, really like. It, 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 it's got a feeling, a sense of all of those lovely Christmas things that you come to expect. Pine needle, cinnamons and spices and, you know, we're in the dark, cold months of winter. The only thing that's going to cheer you up is, is your palate during winter time. Um, it's brilliant. This, this, this is a brilliant, brilliant Christmas porter. A winter spice porter by Meantime and Max and Spencer's. It's not too thick, it's not too heavy. It's rather drinkable for that 5.5% ABV. Yeah, I'm going to rate this. I'm going to I really, really, really like this. I give the Christmas beer from Max and Spencer's, the Christmas ale, I give it a 6 out of 10. I said, look, you know, it's a bit, it, it kind of, it's, it's okay. This, it's a 9. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Superb beer. £2.50 a bottle, pick it up in Max and Spencer's. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!